90 minutes now away from uh, presenting to you the final group stage table. This is the last action for these teams on match day six. Yeah, you want to go into it and come out of it, more importantly, with no regrets. Porto in our match today, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. Chance to just relax and play for the visiting team, but they won't want to let their standards drop, even though they've clinched top spot. No, they certainly won't. They've. Uh... <laughs> and here is the team news for Porto. With uh, an emphasis maybe on uh, getting into the game, not getting out of the game before it's 20 minutes or so. They want to start solidly with those two holding midfield players. Yeah, don't lose the match before really you've worked your way into it. I think that's probably the message in their dressing room, and uh, it's <laughs> Now, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he, the manager, for the pressing style of play that's been a feature of his team. Yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Harry Sanjo. <laughs> Final action in this Champions Cup group stage for these two teams. Their sixth match in the competition. Just interesting to see how these players handle the occasion. A lot of pressure. Could be dangerous. Bit of space to go. He's in here. Great save. They've gone for a corner. Porto pushing on, he might be through. Got to be in, really, for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear, I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of them. He's coming, he's gonna try it! <laughs> Saw the goal and went for it! Extension, the goalkeeper makes this opportunity now, and they've scored. And the first goal will be such a boost to them. It was almost an air of well, we expected this when the goal was celebrated, nothing too extravagant. I think they know that they're better. And then it goes towards the far post. Be a chance. They can't stop him. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. He's a very good individual. Could be dangerous. The break is definitely on got to be and a goal goalkeeper and shoots great stop Away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. The referee has indicated there will be a and Here's the shot. Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Corona. Well, he's got the ball there in the defensive zone by reading the play very well. He's going to try it. Credit for taking on the shot. Final whistle. As a match, it was rather one-sided, wasn't it? Because of the capacity of one team to dominate the football. It was a football lesson. It was pretty humiliating for, for the inferior team. They just didn't get into it. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? 
Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance.